What's good, producers? It's Curtis King of CurtisKingBeats.com here with another producer motivation 911. Producers, today we're going to talk about something that I know a lot of you are probably scratching your head at because of that title. Why producers give out free tag beats and why I'm completely in 100% with it. Now, this is a practice that a lot of producers have been using for years and maybe you don't understand why they do. The ones who do understand why they do and this is why they are successful at what they do. For those of you that are skeptical about giving away your free tag beats, let me make my case. I was just like you. I thought, why would I give out something I worked so hard for? Why would I devalue myself and give it away for free? Why would I give artists the opportunity to steal my beats, which I know they're going to steal my beats? Why would I give them the opportunity to steal it? Why would I make it easy for them? Curtis, why would I give out free tag beats when I'm trying to sell beats? I hear you. 100% I hear you. And somebody tried to make the same case that I'm making to you five years ago, and I didn't listen. And I was stupid. I was wrong. Giving away free tag versions of your beats is literally the best promotion that you could ever ask for. Giving away free tag, and I'm talking about the full version of your instrumentals, can ignite a fire that starts an explosion of sales. I am seeing it currently. I was hard headed, but I was completely wrong. Now, when this person proposed that to me, my initial thought was, okay, fine, I'll give out a free beat. I'm not giving away my best one. I give out one of my like little lower tier beats and you know, so what? I'm not really tripping on that one because it's not selling. And that was another one, as DJ Kelly would say, my twin. As he would say, another one. That was another bad decision, Curtis. Let me help you understand why that's a bad decision. Now, if you decide to give out your beats, your free tag beats, you want to make sure that you use it to its full ability and to its full capability. If you wanna make a substantial impact on the people who are coming in contact with these free downloads, well, you gotta have that fire. Same way you gotta have that fire when somebody visits your websites and you're stacking up your playlist like we talked about the last week, you wanna make sure that you make an impact immediately. The way that you make an impact is by making sure that you have your fire beats out there in circulation. Now, your beats, think about how much it takes to create your beats. It takes time. Yes, time is a valuable, valuable, valuable thing but it takes you only time to create these beats. It doesn't cost you anything, no overhead to make the beats if you already have your equipment, no overhead. It costs you nothing but time, but the promotion that this can bring from giving out this free tagged instrumental is infinite. There's no cap on that. In fact, the value can be translated in many different things, even outside of just sales. The pure circulation of having that hot beat that every artist wants to have access to. Something that drives artists so strongly that they say, man, this beat is so hard and I love the way I sound, but ah, it's the tag version. I need to have access to that. CurtisKingBeats.com Wait, wait, did you hear that? CurtisKingBeats.com, go, go check out the website. Yo, wait, I can lease this right now for 20 bucks? and have an untagged version, why in the hell would I not do that? That's just one situation in which that can work to your advantage. Will people take advantage of you? Hell yeah, they're gonna take advantage of you. They'll take advantage of the fact that you have your beats streaming on these websites. In all actuality, there is no beat right now that any rapper cannot have access to. I don't care if it's on your SoundClick player, if it's on your SoundCloud, I don't care if it's on your actual website, anything that comes through those speakers can now be used through some kind of audio output input situation it can now be recorded strictly on their on their computer so they already have access but why not make that process a bit easier especially if it can pay off for you in sales here's the thing also too about people who are taking your beats and they're rapping over them and they're trying to steal them i do a whole nother video about how to get these songs removed from soundcloud and whatnot that's a whole nother situation very easy process but with that said the thing that happens with people who steal these beats is the whole act gets old. Rapping over these beats at shows, audience members start looking at them like, yo bro, you couldn't even pay for that beat. I ain't even gonna buy no merchandise from you. You couldn't even support that producer. Audience sees that. The artist who raps over these beats and they show off their music to other people, people are like, yo, that's hard, but 
man, what's up with all the tags in the background, bro? You did you didn't pay for this beat. Things like that make it a very awkward situation for those that steal beats. And to be honest with you, those who do that on a long-term basis, they never make it. They never have a substantial impact as you're gonna have as a producer. They're just never gonna make it. Young artists who do this, they do that in the beginning because they can't afford to buy your beats. But guess what? Your branding, your tag, leaves an everlasting statement, an everlasting impact upon that artist. How do I know that? Because almost damn near 13 years ago, before I started making beats, there was a tag that I still remember to this day. It was a producer that was on mp3.com. I just downloaded his free tags. It's dude, JC Beats Productions. JC Beats Productions. JC Beats, if you out there, much props to you, because you probably, without even knowing it, started my leasing career, started my rapping career too, because you had the fire beats, and I had no access to beats that sounded like yours. That being said, I still remember that branding even to this day. JC Beats was the first person I ever leased beats from because of those tags. It was the first person I ever leased beats from. You have to look at the long play. Don't look at the short play. The people who are here right now, they're temporary, they're still in the, your tag beats, and they're wrapping over and put them in their mixtape. They're, they're, that's, that's small fries. That doesn't represent the greater majority. The greater majority is looking for opportunities to have an advantage over their competition. The greater majority is looking for ways to separate themselves from the rest of the herd. Well, the way that they separate themselves from the herd is by having the untagged versions that they only can get by leasing or buying the beat exclusively. So give them that option. Of the average artist, there's a process when it comes to the buying decision. A lot of artists come to your website, they listen to a few beats, they may add them to their SoundClick station, they may download them if they have access to them, they may favorite your page and say, you know, eventually I'll come back, and maybe 15 favorites they have that day of other producers. Now the thing that separates you and the thing that gives you a better advantage over all these other producers that they're pretty much scouting out their beats is by giving them something to go home with. Give them a consolation prize. It's almost like the price is right. Hey, for coming to the show today, you get this free bar of soap. It's a consolation prize that reminds them every time they look at that bar of soap or they look at that cup or whatever they win, they say, I gotta go back to the price is right. It's just a reminder. So you wanna have something that stays with your potential customer because that's your potential customer. That is your customer. Well, the way that you basically ensure that that customer comes back is by going along with them. Why not let them download your free download and be inside of their playlist or inside their phone or inside their MP3 player, whatever they're using. Why not be with them every step of the way? Be there during the recording process. Be there during the writing process. Be super invasive of their lives with your free downloads. I highly suggest it. The potential is way too high to ignore it. And I'm telling you, you gotta use your fire. You can't use anything less than your fire because that fire will circulate throughout this industry. That fire will circulate your name. That branding on top of that fire will circulate your name. Because of every time somebody hears a beat by you and it's fire associated with it, they will ultimately associate your name with fire and come back to you because they want that fire. They want a piece of that. Give them the opportunity to get that. So in conclusion, free downloads are worth taking the opportunity on. I'm seeing right now how people have held on to free downloads for me for a long time and have come back to me and said, look, I've been holding on to this and I need the untagged version. There's even beats that I've already sold that they still have been holding on to, but they want a lease version of. So there's great potential in it. I mean, maybe I have an advantage over a lot of producers because my tag says, why didn't you pay for this beat? And they kind of feel guilty rapping over that part, even though I had somebody try to rap with it. But that's a whole other story because I thought that was the funniest thing in the world, but you shouldn't probably do that because it's only funny once. These are my thoughts. I would love to hear your thoughts on it. This has been another Producer Motivation 911, Curtis King of CurtisKingBeats.com. Would you consider yourself an aspiring producer? Well, what if I told you I could teach you the art of production on FL Studio, the same art form that I've been working with for the last 13 years. What if I told you I can teach you that art form in less than four hours? 